Yo, what it do YouTube? It's your boy JP Productions and welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, if I could ask you for just one wish, I wish that you'll spam that like button. Let's try to get 300 plus likes on this video and I know y'all can do it. So come on, hit that like button, alright? Hit that subscribe button so you can also keep up with all the heat when I drop it on a daily. I was asked a good question from a great subscriber of mine and his question was, JP, how can I slow down the game and be able to process and react to certain situations? And this was a good question. When it comes to the game of basketball, we all need to understand that yes, indeed, it is played at a high tempo, but we must learn how to play with great pace. Playing with great pace means playing at different speeds, so if you're on offense, don't have the need to always rush. Slow down and be able to look around the floor to see any mismatches or any cutters if there are any. Especially when it comes to the pick and roll. Many ball handlers have a tendency to sprint off the pick and don't even take a second to think and they just pass it to their man, hoping that he'll be open. That's chaos. You need to have the ability to come off that screen with good pace, not too slow, but not too fast. Depending on the situation, you might have to go fast. It all depends. But once you come off that screen, read the floor. If you have space for a pull up or a floater, take advantage. If you see a pocket to throw your big man that rock, then dish and assist. Read what your options are. You can do so by keeping your eyes up and seeing the floor. Now let's say that you come off that screen but there's nothing there at all. Feel free to just take a few seconds and stall the defense by holding your defender out or playing at a slow rate to see what can evolve after that pick. If your big man is not even open or if you see no scoring option whatsoever, then don't force it. Pull back and make another play. The whole point overall is to not rush yourself. Now there might be times where you have to pick up the speed if you have a well known hard lockdown defender on you and that's fine. Hit him with the move and then blow by him. If he's still on you then you can always change speeds or hit him with a crossover to change direction. Now doing these two things that I just mentioned yes indeed takes a player to have a good handle but it also takes the player to have the ability to change their speed and direction. In the game of basketball, it's not always about who can run the fastest, but it's about who can be the most shiftiest, who could shift the gears, who could go from 20 miles per hour to 50 miles per hour, or who could go from 60 miles to 20 miles per hour, or who could go from 60 to 80 and then back to 20. This is one major key why players like Kyrie, Steph Curry, and all those other elite point guards are so dangerous. They're not known as the fastest players, but they can shift you and put you on your heels by switching their speeds and switching directions, which makes them deadly. Along with not rushing yourself, by watching more film and playing more games can definitely help you out. Now playing more games is a big, big must. This is probably the biggest one of all. Without playing in an actual 5v5 game or a 4v4 or whatever pickup game that you are playing, you won't feel the energy if you don't play the game. Everything I told you will help you, but the main key is to play more games. Sounds simple, and it really is. The more you play in a real game, the more comfortable you will begin to feel whenever you're in a game. Be sure to like this video, man. Remember, 300 likes, man. 300 likes. Be sure to subscribe and turn on my post notifications so you'll be the first one to know when I drop these bangers, man. It's your boy JP. Till next time.